hello hi welcome to this tutorial in this tutorial I'll tell you how to do the creepers with the help of mash so I'm going into the new scene just closing this one so it's very simple first we have to create a leaf to create a leaf I'm just bringing in a plane and I'm just reducing the segments here and I want this to be no shaped like this and I want the shape to come down here and I select this vertices and just stretching it and I'm just going to take this here and just stretching it and just scaling it so I'll I'm bringing the shape of a leaf okay and I press 3 to see the structure of it I'm just going to select this and move it up and this one little bit of scale on top to bring the shape of a leaf so I'm just having it here press W sorry R and scaling it and coming to this uh, one selecting this edge I'm going to extrude this one and going to bring it here and again E and bring it here and I want this to scale okay so you can do uh, any structure like I you know you can just take any leaf and you can just uh, model it as you want okay here I just uh, took this one this shape and I want the center uh, faces to go down a little bit so that a little bit down so that it gives you kind of this or I can just make it bring it up okay so you can structure it accordingly okay for this uh, uh, class purpose I'm just using this one and now what I do I just go to mesh and here I use smooth because I want the divisions to be added to this so I'm just adding two segments so that I get the shape and uh, you can texture it accordingly so here I'm not going to texture it I'm just going to use uh, the bend I'm pressing W I'm just going to have it here and I press uh, insert I want uh, this pivot to be at the corner so that when I'm just uh, you know using mesh network this will help me out so after that what I do I just go to deform and go for nonlinear bend okay so in this bend in curvature I'm just increasing the bend and I'm going to rotate this here this way maybe yeah this will be good and I just make this to be 90 and this to be 90 and this to be 0 yeah this is a perfect one so I want the other way so I'm just going to have it like this okay and I can use the lower bound I want the lower bound to be flat and higher bound I can make it straight so that it gives you a curve here okay so I can have it curve like this or this whichever way you want you can just uh, easily you know uh, manipulate this so a little bit of high bound yeah that'll be okay fine so uh, I'm just using this bone I'm going to bring it up and going to press insert and I'm going to have it here I'm just pressing insert now what I do I select this one and uh, go to edit delete by type history and just uh, deleting the history and for this for this tutorial I'm just concentrating on mesh so I'm going to give uh, just a, a color to this uh, leaf and I'm just adding here standard surface and I want this to be a little greenish yeah this looks better it looks like a leaf okay so now I want uh, to delete the history and freeze the transform okay so after doing this I'm just scaling it a little bit because I'm just going to attach this to a curve and uh, 
I'm just deleting the history now what I can do is I can just uh, now create an AP curve uh, on which the the leaf has to you know grow so I'm just going to do it something like this so I can have it like this so I go to the perspective view and go for this curves and uh, selecting this and I'm moving it a little bit curvy um, so that on top if you see it'll be you know transformed like this okay so uh, you can do it uh, on the ground uh, ground also it's not a problem okay so uh, this can be done uh, based on you know the polygon here I can also do with do it with uh, the EP curve okay here I'm just using a circle where I can just convert that later as a, a polygon so I created a circle and I'm just you uh, know uh, selecting going to polygon history delete and shift selecting this one I go into this and go to extrude I can just make it as a you know polygon straight away and I can just increase a count and make sure that I give quads I create you see I got a curve okay so uh, if you want to have the settings you know you just convert that into it'll be in nerves just click on the polygon and then you go with the quads and give counts and you can just go with 4000 or 2000 uh, counts according to the need I can undo it if you want to have 2000 you can have it but you see the segments will be less when compared with uh, the before one which had 4000 counts okay so according to it you can just give so I'm just closing this one and I select this one I'm press 3 so that it'll look smooth and after that what I do uh, I delete the history so that I can you know at any time modify this if the history is not deleted when the curve is manipulated this will also get affected all right now I'm going to select the leaf and then I go back to animation I find mesh and I'm going to create a mesh network with a leaf when I create this you see automatically it creates the distribution of mesh network okay so I go into uh, this mesh distribution okay so here you see the distance and uh, etc but here we need is like I have to go into this I want this to get selected mesh okay because I want this network to get attached with this okay so I go to extrude surface you can just you know name it like you can say it as a stem okay so that it will be easy for you to understand so I'm selecting this one and going back into the mesh network okay now I'm just selecting the stem with the middle mouse and clicking and dragging and I'm going to put it in the input mesh now you see this has automatically attached all right so here it is scattered what I can do is I can just give random vertex now you see this got randomly you know uh, spread it all over and here what you can do is you can increase increase the leaves as much as you want and when I click outside this looks okay but uh, you see the the flow of uh, the leaf it's something different okay which doesn't uh, match what I can do is I can add first I can just you know go for a random here because I want the random size of the leaf so what I can do is I can just go into this random click add random okay when I just add random you see automatically this is been pushed out from the stem because of this I make the position to be zero the random in random okay 
and give uniform scaling if you give uniform scaling this is going to affect everything okay i have i uh, know you can scale it as you want but here i can see that uh, the leaves are bigger and also it is rotated in different angle what i can do is i can just go to the plane which is hidden when we apply mesh to any of the object that will get hidden so i'm just selecting that uh, uh, that leaf so if you want to view that you just go to display show selection okay now i can able to view the leaf okay so i just give scale and i can scale it now what i can do is i can rotate it as i need okay so this is easily i can rotate it okay so now it is properly set and i can easily rotate this also so i want it something like this maybe maybe like this yeah this is good this is looking good yeah so what i can do is i can just go to you know two sided light where you can able to see this stem and now i can just go to this one and i go to mesh here and i can also scale this just go here and right click and go to random i can scale okay so you can just uh, we can just you know scale it and if you want to rotate it also you can just rotate in the axis you need and also x axis if you want to have that to be you know somewhere uh, different you can just have it rotated so now you can just adjust it as you need okay so this can also be you know scaled randomly so now you can able to see it is scaled and now i can go to the stem right click and go for assign new material arnold uh ai standard surface i go and select and i make it a little bit green now you see i have created a creeper with the help of mesh now i select the original one i press control h to hide okay so now i create a base here press r scaling it so now i can have a pillar or i can just take this as a duplicate and i can use it anywhere i want so hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video kindly share it press the like button and share it with your friends if you are not yet subscribed kindly do subscribe thanks for watching thank you